There was no doubt about it. The launch was spectacular. It was a tremendous moment of triumph for the city of Cleveland. But unfortunately, this moment of triumph did not last long. The expectation was that the helium-filled balloons would float around for a while before eventually deflating and returning to Earth one by one. But that wasn't what happened. And the wind has just shifted just enough that the balloons are now trailing the fan. There's a beautiful balloons are coming back this way. They're coming back. The cold air and oncoming rain immediately pushed the still inflated balloons, tens of thousands of them, back down towards the ground in droves. The result was mass chaos. The balloons, one and a half million of them, caused quite a stir in Cleveland yesterday. It was part a northerly wind quickly carried the balloons to Burke Lakefront Airport. And within minutes, the runways were so clogged that all flights had to be suspended. The balloons also started to descend on certain streets. And after a number of car accidents, these roads had to be closed until a bulldozer arrived to clear out the balloons. As all this was going on, the Coast Guard was still out looking for the two missing fishermen. Ironically, that 